try to discover a little something to make me sweeter. Oh, baby, refrain from breaking my heart. I'm so in love with you. I'll be forever true. Don't you give me no reason to make me work so hard. How's it going folks? This is Wayne R back for another lesson and an absolute classic tune today. I love this tune, A Little Respect by Erasure and it was also covered by a band I think in the early 90s by Wittes which was also a great version. Like I say, a great one to, you know, a great busker's tune, a great one to play on an acoustic guitar. Uh, there's an easy way to play but there's a sort of a, the way that I played it just as with a lot of chord embellishment. So uh, I'll go through both ways so without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so this song is in standard tuning, and, and first of all, I'm just going to go through the chords, and I'll go through all the, you know, the chord embellishment thing after, but um, the first chord that you're going to need without the embellishment is a C chord, okay? And that's going to go into the verse with the words, it's going to go, I try to discover a little something to make life sweet. We go to a G chord, oh baby, refrain, we go to an E. From breaking my, we go to an F chord. Now it's up to you whether you do a barred F or I tend to do a, an F major seven chord with it with a C bass. In. You want to put that chord up. And I'm so in love. We go to a C. You, I'll be forever. G. That you give me no. We go to an F reason. You know you made me A minor work so hard. Then we hang on a G into the chorus. Don't you get me no, don't you get me no, don't you get me no See? So I A minor Oh baby F please Give a little E minor respect F G and back to the C and we're then we're into the obviously the verse and the chorus again. So that's pretty much, other than the middle eight part, which we'll get to in a minute, that's pretty much all you're going to need. So I'm just going to go through that with the words really quickly. So we've got the intro, which is a C chord. I tried to discover a little something to make me sweeter. It cheek, baby, refrain. We've got an E. Go to an F now. From breaking my heart. Back to the C, so in love with you. Go to a G, be forever true. I go to an A, that you give me no reason. Go to an A, A minor, G, that you give me no, that you give me no, that you give me no, that C, so to an A minor, I hear you calling. To an F. Minor, give a little respect, and then a quick F, G, back to the, back to the uh, C chord and into the verse again. Okay, so with the embellishment, we're going to actually do a C to a C sus four chord, and that is just adding. You take a regular C chord, you're going to add your little finger underneath the third finger that'll be on the third fret on the D string, so you get this. Now the strumming pattern to do this is down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, up. And it's really quick, so you've got to sort of keep that, you know, pretty consistent. Down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, 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 down, up. So that'll be the embellishment on the C chord. When we go to the G, 
you notice I was doing the G with my last three fingers, so I'm doing the G chord, my second finger is on the second fret on the A string, uh, third finger is on the third fret on the bottom E string, and my little finger is on the third fret on the top E string. That leaves me first finger free to add on and off the first fret of the B string, which will turn it into a G sus4. So. Okay, the next chord's an E. Now we're gonna go from an E to an E sus4 chord. So that is just take a regular E chord. You're gonna add your little finger on and off the second fret on the G string. Okay, the next chord when we take the F major seven, we're just gonna lift the, the first finger on and off. So go back to the C, to the C sus4. The G to the G sus4. And the F and half a bar. A minor. Now on the A minor, I tend to put the little finger, I think this is an A minor, sort of add four or something like that. Uh, the little finger is going to be on the third fret on the B string. And then we're going to go uh, to the G chord. This is a build up to the chorus, so we got the. So slow. Back to the C. So, so yeah. on this A minor in the chorus, I turn. So I'll go. I add the little finger on the little bit of you know embellishment here. Uh, little finger on the third fret as we did before on the B string, and then we take that off, and then we're going to take the first finger on and off. So we get this. Okay, let me go to the G again. Sorry, uh, sorry the F chord. So. Give a little respect. Give a little respect. E minor. And then an F. Really quick change on that F to the G. That's like the turnaround, and then we're back into the verse again. So I'm just going to sing through that really slowly, all that, you know, so you can see all the things that are going on. So we've got the C to the C sus4 for the intro. A bit slower. I try to discover a little something to make this weaker. G sus4. So baby, refrain. E to the E sus4. From breaking my heart. We've got the F major 7 with a C bass in. Taking the first finger on and off. So in love with we'll you. Back to the C. I'll be for a G to the G sus4. Go to F or off a bar, you know, reason why you make me wait so hard. That little finger on the embellishment there on the A man. Don't you give me no, don't. A G and the G sus4 so up to the chorus, then we got the C. I hear you come. To the F, please. Give the B minor spin. Do a regular G there, you know, it's up to you, you could go into that G again, but I do the four finger G. So the F. Okay, and it goes through again pretty much the same. So the only different bit is this middle eight bit. Now I tend to do this bit. I think it's really nice with octaves. So if you've never done an octave chord before, we're basically we're going to put the first finger on the 10th fret on the A string, and we're going to put the third finger on the 12th fret on the G string. But we're going to try and mute the D string a bit. And we're going to move that down two frets to the to the eighth fret. We're going to go to the seventh fret. So basically we're doing a G, F, E. And we're going to go to a B flat chord. Now you could either do it down here, but I think it's easier to do it with the root note off the sixth string. That would be just a normal bar major chord. That would be on the, the sixth fret. So that first bit. Now the second time you do exactly the same, but you just go to a G major chord at the end. So. So 
Let me go in slow with you. Basically, folks, that's all you're going to need. Have fun with that. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. I hope you all dug that. I absolutely love that tune, and I think it's a great song. You know, a great busker song, just a great song in general to, to play on an acoustic guitar. And, you know, using all the embellishments and things, you, you can get it sounding pretty close to the original. So, like I say, I hope you all dug that. Uh, if anyone's got any requests for any other, you know, songs in a similar vein or, or, or any songs in particular, I've covered quite a wide range of songs. You know, I love sort of Manchester music, Oasis, The Stone Roses, The Smiths, there's loads of tutorials for those if you're new to me, if you want to check those out, but I do do a lot of, you know, 80s, well, 60s to modern day really, you know, there's some really quite bizarre ones in there if you want to, if you're new to me or you want to check them out, go down and scroll down, I've got everything, and I'm serious, through ABBA through to Metallica, if you want to check those out, but if anyone's got any requests, you know, you can either leave a comment in the video below, or a good way to reach me directly would if you go over on Facebook and like my page, which is Wayne R Guitar, and you could send me a you know personal message through Facebook on Messenger, if as long as it's a nice message, mind. And I'm getting through a few requests at the moment, you know. But you could be lucky; I might pick your request. Uh, I'm working through, you know, one or two. So uh, hopefully, if you have requested the song, your song might be coming up soon. So. Um, yeah, that just leaves me to say, you know, thanks very much for watching. Have a good morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching, and I will catch you for another lesson very soon. Take care.